Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I have a nice, soft, glam look for you guys I wanted to share with you. So if you're interested in achieving this look right here, then keep on watching. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna do like a everyday glam look. So this is like one of my favorites. It's like my go-to when I like, I don't wanna do like a natural makeup look. Like I wanna add like a little something. Okay, so what I'm using right now is the Soft Ogre Paint Pot by MAC. I love this and as you can see, it's basically like all gone. And Ulta just had like a buy one, get one free. Like I'm gonna say back in April and I just did not have the money right then to get it and I was like so upset. So that's what I'm doing right now. Hopefully you guys can see me. I have a really nice camera, but I really need to figure all of this lighting stuff out. Like I wanna get a monitor so I can see like what you guys see because I have a little pop-up monitor thing. I don't know the word, I can't think right now. But I can hardly see, like I'm nearsighted, so looking into that doesn't mean anything. And <laughs> and I guess with the, the monitor, you can actually color correct and everything right there. And like you don't have to keep getting up and down and doing all that crazy stuff. Uh, I just want you guys to see like the true color of everything, if that makes sense. So I just placed that all over my eyelids and I just did it nice and evenly. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. I'm going to dip into this white color Okie Dokie and I'm going to use this brush right here. This is the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer which I said in my last video different brushes can be used for different things and I like this one because I can sweep it all over my lid very easily. So right now I'm just taking that color and I'm just sweeping it all over my lid nice and evenly so when we do our eyeshadow it's nice and even and not splotchy and do that on the other side that's a little better just know I'm not this pale I know it's not like a big deal but like when I say like my foundation shades like it's probably gonna sound like a little darker than what I am but yeah next I'm gonna go into Bomb Diggity for my transition shade right here. As you can see, I hit pan. It's like one of my favorite transition shades. So I'm going to take my Sigma Taper Blending E35 brush and I'm just going to go on my outer corner the most, the most product right here. And I'm going to go towards my crease and keep building up the color like right there. And then when I feel like there's not that much more shadow on my brush, I like to go over towards the center using windshield wiper motions. So I keep doing that and then like blend it out in circular motions and make like a little V shape so you get your little shape right there. And we will take like a wet wipe and clean that up a little bit to see. Hopefully you guys can see that eye. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Building up the shadow towards the end. Because I like with my eye shape, I like all the boldness towards the end. I'm also going to be cutting my crease. That's why I'm doing like a little swipe towards the center. But it's not going to be a bold cut crease. It's just going to be like an everyday glam look. So it's not going to be too in your face. So I'm just using my windshield wiper motions and blending that out. It's best to hold your, so you're not heavy handed, hold your brush at the end. It works better instead of like holding it right here because you're going to be like more rough. I used to go really heavy handed so it's something I've learned. So just lightly go over it like with a feather touch and that helps it blend it out the best. So this is all trial and error stuff that I've figured out throughout the years. I actually started doing my eyeshadow back in 2017. Like I didn't really do eyeshadow. Like I just felt like it was so complex and just like really like overwhelming. So like I kind of stayed away from it. But then I was like, you know what? I could up my makeup game and make my makeup look even better. Okay, like I've learned a lot. Like I watched videos after videos after videos and learned different techniques from people and just like took in what like I liked. Like what worked for me the best. Okay, so that looks really 
nice and blended and even. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my Morphe palette. This is the 350 palette. It's been through some damage. As you can see, my curling iron was once sat on it. I've used this palette so much. What do you guys see? <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go in with this shade right here. Then take a more dense brush. And this is the Diffuse Crease E38 by Sigma. Ever so gently tap off the excess. And then I like to go, you know, where we formed that, that line right there. And I like to just go over a little tiny bit. What I like to do is look straight and you know, like the end of your eye, I like to end that little V like right there. So that's what I do. Sometimes I'll go like a little bit over kind of towards my pupil, but if I do that on one eye, then I'll just make sure I do that on the other eye. Okay, so now that I don't have a lot of shadow on my brush, I'll just drag it just a little bit towards the center not all the way but towards the end of my eye like this way and now i will do that on the other side tap off the excess go up on that imaginary line that we created keep doing that do like a little v do like little circular motions and make sure you're holding your brush at the end and i'm just going towards the end of my eye, not all the way, because like I said, I want to keep all my eyeshadow on the outer edge of my eye and make this part. And like I said, we're going to clean up this line and make it more crisp when we're all done. Okay, now that that's on, we want to make sure we blend. That's very important. So I'm going to take this more fluffy brush. This is the Sigma Tapered Blending Brush, the E40 brush, with a very light hand. I'm just going to take that circular motions and then windshield wiper motions and just lightly just blend that up and then over. Blending will just make everything blend so nicely together and everything will look airbrushed. If not, everything's just going to look so harsh. Okay, do you guys see the difference? How much better this eye looks than this one? So I'm going to go in and blend with this one. Okay, so now that all of those are blended, I'm going to go ahead and then go in with a little tiny dense brush. And this is the Morphe M506 brush. And then I'm going to pick up this shade right here. It's the one right next to the other one that I use. It's a little darker. And then we're going to go again on the outer edge ever so gently right here because it's a darker shade and we want to definitely just do the outer edge with it and using a very light hand because you don't want fallout and I'm not going to bring the shade all the way over I'm just going to focus on the end okay so there you go and now I'm going to go ahead and dip into that again dust off the excess because Morphe does have a little bit of fallout but it's such it's an amazing palette like such good pigmented colors like I love it again I'm doing this on this side like before we're gonna go ahead and blend that out also I'm gonna go back in with my tapered blending e40 brush and just blend out just that little V right here just blend it into the other color I always start with eyeshadow first just because I used to not I'm just the fear of fallout going on to my face that I just spent a good time perfecting, like, no. <laughs> do eyes first. Like, do what you want, but gosh. Live and learn. So much better doing it this way. I'm going to take a baby wipe, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to clean up right here. So, so as you can see, that line's nice and clean, so this will also work as a guide for when we do our eyeliner. It makes things much easier okay so next thing I'm going to do is cut my crease and this is going to be a half cut crease I'm going to take my Luxie 245 small shader let me zoom you guys in a little bit it's got like a nice little point I got this in my boxy charm I believe and it's perfect for cut creases so what I'm going to do is take my tart shape tape and I'm running out of this you guys Ugh. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to dot, almost like an eyeliner, I'm going to go from my inner corner and I'm going to stop at the end of my eye with a line of concealer. If you guys want like a more in-depth cut crease video, I will do that. So 
I'm just gonna go ahead and try and speed through this because I never shut up and like I know I'm gonna make this video 10 times longer than it needs to be. Start on the inner corner, making drawing a line with your concealer, stopping at the end of the eye, and since I went a little over on that side, I'll do it on this side too. Okay, and this is like the funky part, but this is gonna help you so much, okay? So what you wanna do is you wanna look up like this, and you wanna move your eye while still looking up side to side and like look up to the ceiling but don't move your head. And you see what I just did there? I made guidelines. So that's where I'm gonna do my cut crease. This is something I learned and seriously you guys, like it's helped me so much. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more of that concealer. What I'm gonna do here is just fill it in. And you wanna use a pointy brush because it makes it making lines so much easier. So I'm gonna just go ahead and fill in that line. And when I get towards the edge, I kind of like just to like to pat it. And as you can see, like we're just gonna go from here to the edge and just kind of brush that out on both sides. Like make the two lines neat. As you can see, it's like a pretty crisp line. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that on the other side. That is finished. So what you wanna do now, and you don't have to worry about like looking down. We already looked all around and looked up and stuff like that. So don't fear that. That's where your cut crease should be. I'm gonna use my Sigma Firm Shader Brush E57. I'm gonna then go ahead and dip back into my Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas palette. I'm gonna go ahead and take this sh shade right here. I'm gonna dip into that. And what I'm gonna do here is again, use my eyes as a guide. Use an imaginary line and go from here and kind of create like a slanted line from the end of my eyeball up. And that's where we're gonna put this lighter color. So you just wanna just tap that color onto the concealer, pressing it in. And like I said, I'm gonna stop where that imaginary line is. I'm gonna go ahead and dip into that again and do the other eye. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go into this shade right here, Redonculus. What I'm gonna do now is everywhere else I have concealer, I'm going to tap on this bronze shade. And again, I'm going to use a slanted angle. And we're using our eyes as a guide. And I'm using my iris. And I'm going from there and placing this bronze color all the way to the end. And you guys can see how that's coming along. So what I want to do now is we want to blend these in just so it doesn't look so like harsh. We want everything to blend in nicely. So I'm going back in with that light gold shade that we use on our inner corner. And I'm going to just, where those two meet, I'm just going to tap over it. See how that blends? But it makes it look seamless. And so that looks more blended. I'm going to go back into the dark shade that I used in my Morphe palette that I used on the outer corner. Dip into that with this Sigma Pencil E30 brush and I'm just going to blend that dark shade into that bronze color. And I'm just using light tapping motions. I'm also using this to deepen it up a little bit. You don't want to go over the crease though because we're going to blend that out with a blending brush. But you can see how there's another harsh line. So we're going to go ahead and blend that also. So I'm going to go ahead and take my brush and do that to the other side as well. And it deepens everything up again. And again, we're going in a slanted angle. I'm going to dip back into that bronze shade and now I'm going to blend these two lines just so they look seamless. 
So I'm gently tapping where I see that line. And now I'm gonna do that to the other side. Now we're gonna go back in with my tapered blending E40 brush. And I'm just gonna ever so lightly just blend in a circular motion and not go all the way over just where like the bronze shade is and that darker shade just so it blends nicely up into my crease. So the next step I like to do is I curl my eyelashes. So what we're going to do now is take some liquid eyeliner. Remember we made that line? I'm going to use that as a guide. I'm just going to go up and where that dark shadow ends, that's where we're going to stop. So just use light thickening motions. And because I like the cat eye, we're not going to go all the way with this. We're actually going to go to the beginning of the pupil and then we're going to go outwards. Okay, so there's that eye. Okay, now that I'm done with my eyeliner, I'm gonna go ahead and apply my mascara. This is the Tarte Life Camera Lashes Mascara. Next step is lashes. These are the Vegas Nay lashes. I'll put down exactly which ones these are I'm on the bottom here somewhere. I'm gonna go ahead and apply those. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna you see where the color of your eye starts. That's where I like to start my eyelashes. So that's my beginning point. I like to use both hands, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I like to start in the beginning and then work my way to the edge and then take the end of the lashes and kind of just press them into my lash line. See? Okay guys, time for foundation. I already prepped my face, moisturized it, put primer on it. The primer I used was the Cover FX Luring Primer. I'm going to be using the L'Oreal 105 Natural Beige Infallible Pro Matte foundation. I just started using this again the other day and I was like, oh, I really like it. Like, I knew I liked it before, but I'm just on my cheeks. It looks like a lot that I'm putting on, but watch when the, the Beauty Blender kind of soaks up a lot of the foundation, so it kind of gives you, like, a more natural look. I'm not going for, like, a full coverage foundation. And you don't have to worry about your under eyes so much because we're gonna put concealer there and I'll actually help it from being cakey and creasing a lot. So see, it's like not that full coverage. I haven't done my forehead yet. I'm gonna go ahead and blend this out on my forehead. Blend it into my brows a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and move to brows. And I'll draw like a little line just right there. And on the other side, just to make them look a little cleaner. And you wanna use a sharp pencil. And I just want to use little thin lines in the beginning and kind of take my brush and gently blend it upwards. Just to get my brows because they don't really have a start and they're kind of bald right there. So I'm going to go ahead and do that on the other side. Moving on to concealer. I'm going to try and do this as fast as I can because my camera battery is dying. And it's just, gosh, it's just been one of those days with trying to film a video for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. So the rest of this video is going to be pretty fast and not really in detail just because I need to get it done. I have company coming over and I've been fiddle faddling, which I tend to do a lot and I talk too much. So uh, <laughs> and this out. I talk more about blending out my concealer in my natural makeup video tutorial so if you want to check that out after this one go ahead but my beauty blender is drying out and it's hard to blend out this concealer it's just seriously been one of those days like i wanted to film a video and everything is going wrong
Okay, so that my concealer is done, I'm going to go ahead and contour my nose. I usually use powder, but I'm going to be using this right here. I have no idea what it is. I think it's by Maybelline, but I've been using it for a while. Go ahead and contour my nose. And since this is like not like a natural look, but it's like a soft glam look, I'm going to contour my nose like this using this. It, kind of, it makes your contour stick out a little bit more. So I'm going to use this brush right here. It's the Sigma Precision Flat Angled P88 brush. And I'm going to just blend that into my nose. And I like doing my tip like this. Side and go up towards my eyebrows. I love this brush for blending out my nose contour. And to make it even thinner, I can take more concealer and just add it up onto there. So I think I'm going to do that. So lightly, I'm just going to tap a little bit of concealer on the side. And I'm going to go ahead and just softly push this down and create a more sharp line. And as you can see, it's a lot more sharp than it was. Okay, so the next step I like to do is set my concealer. What I'm going to use is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit in light to medium. And I'm going to go ahead and go in with the banana powder. I'm going to take this Luxie Precision Foundation Brush. It doesn't really look like a foundation brush to me. It's kind of fluffy and flat. Dip into the powder and just lightly tap and go all the way up to where you contour it. I'm going to add some white to the center of my nose so that also stands out and makes my nose look at the center. I'm going to take some concealer and just lightly go up my nose and on the tip right here. Then I'm going to take that same P88 brush and gently just tap it in. Okay, so there you go. So I'm going to go ahead and go back into that banana shade and then I just like to tap the top of my nose. Okay, so now that that's all set, we're going to go ahead and contour. I'm going to be using my Tartius Pro Glow palette. I'm going to go ahead and go into it, this shade right here and just softly bronze up my cheeks. I like to stop like right about there. And I like to set the tip of my nose with this also. See? <laughs> bronze up my forehead. I'm going to take my Cover FX. This is the Perfector Face Palette. As you can see, this has some abuse also. <laughs> so I'm going to take that with my, where is it? My Luxie 1010 Small Contour Brush. And I'm going to just emphasize my cheekbones a little bit. I'm going to stop at like the corner of my eye. And for blush, I'm going to be using this Elmar Cosmetics Palette. And I'm going to be going into the Gorger shade, just because I have a lipstick that kind of goes with this right now, and like I thought it would look really pretty, so. And with that, I'm going to be using this Moda brush. It doesn't have like a number or anything like that, but it's like a fluffy brush. It's kind of like a peachy pink color, so really pretty. It's kind of got like a tan bronzy color, can you see? But it's not like too, too much. Just tap on my nose a little bit. Okay guys, how to charge my camera battery uh, again. But I have a little companion with me right now, Sebastian. So if you hear little baby noises, that's him. So let's go ahead and get finished with this tutorial. I feel like it's been lasting forever. So I'm gonna take my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter and use my finger and go across the top of my cheekbones and kind of like in a C motion. Okay, I'm gonna do it on the tip of my nose. I'm gonna go ahead and use my pinky and lightly go down the bridge of my nose just to give it like that thinner look. And I like to always take it up here and take some on my chin. The next step I'm going to do is my under eye. So I'm gonna go back into that Laura Lee palette. I'm going to use this Luxie 209 large shader brush. And I'm going to go back into the shade 
bum diggity. We're basically going to build up on our lower lash line what we did on our upper lash line. So what I like to do to keep that cat eye effect is don't take any of the shadow from the middle of the eye over. So I'm just going to take this big shader brush right here and I'm just going to stamp it right there and don't go any further than my pupil. Do that to the other side. And then I'm going to take a pencil brush. I'm going to go back into my Morphe palette and I'm going to go in with that lighter brown shade right here. And then after that, I'm going to go in with the shade. And go on top of that. Again, keeping it in my outer corner. Okay, now I'm going to go in with the darkish shade. Make sure I tap off the excess because we don't want any fallout. And if you want more, if you want more of a dramatic look, like you can just keep building it up. So don't go in with a lot of product. You can always add more. Okay, the same mascara I used earlier, which was the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And I'm only going to use a tiny little bit, and I'm not going to go on all of my lashes. I'm just going to go on where I put the eyeshadow. And ever so lightly, I'm like, I'm, I want it to look like I barely have any mascara on. And if you want, take the wand and kind of move your lashes to an angle so it all just goes that way. And now I want everything to blend nicely together. So I'm going to take a little bit of setting powder. This is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Translucent Powder. And I'm going to take a big fluffy brush. This is the Aesthetica P12 brush. I'm going to dip into the lid, use a little bit, gently tap it off because I don't want like a lot of powder. I'm just going to stamp that into my face, just so this kind of sets everything and mix it all blend together really nicely. I'm going to go back in to my Laura Geller Gilded Honey and I like to take that in my inner eye and then I actually like to drag it down and have it meet just so it brightens up your eye. And next is lips. So I'm going to line my lips and apply my lipstick and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm going to brush off the nose. Kind of just brush that into the rest of my face. Alright you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it was an easy look that you can easily achieve yourself. I hope it was very informative also. So don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. You look you want to add a little something. Yeah. Say hi. 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 He doesn't know where to look. <laughs> Alright, you guys. Bye.